All right, let's have a look at a technical comparison between a level four CSI examiner and uh, someone from uh, Canada trying to go for their level three. This is some level three short turns uh, they were training. So I've chosen this because uh, I wanted to try and find some instructor footage on the internet. Um, not a lot of people are brave enough to put up their footage as they're training. Um, maybe because they're embarrassed of what they're doing. Anyway, so that's why I've got this footage. Um, the thing I want to uh, focus attention on is um, given in the CSAA there's, there's quite a lot of emphasis on being able to turn with the lower body. Uh, it's put under the skill of pivoting, um, using the legs to redirect the skis sort of separate from the upper body to give uh, better balance. But the, the point I'm going to choose here is um, to look at is actually uh, the use of pivoting with something or with the snow to actually redirect and push on the skis as that pivoting is happening. So if we just look at the use of turning the lower body, you could say these two skiers use around a similar kind of range. Yes, the examiner's a bit tidier with it, but really um, if you watch in slow-mo back and forth, they're both sort of turning the skis a similar amount across the hill. Um, the guy over on this side, maybe it's a bit of sort of hip rotation, uh, pelvis rotation because, well, as you'll see, there's very late ground reaction force or, or something to, to actually feel his body balance against. So same amount of leg rotation. So what's the real difference between the, the, the examiner and his kind of nice turns and, um, and the guy who's trying to go for his level three. <clears throat> if you look at the examiner first, um, from uh, transition, initiation, there's not a lot of redirection change of his skis just yet, okay? Um, and what he's really waiting for, or the difference I see is, it's right around here, this point in the turn, that you start to see some snow spray and that's indicative of the snow pushing against his skis and against his mass which is sort of traveling in this direction from the previous turn so he's catching that momentum here with his skis and the edge grip and there there is quite a lot of effort it's at this moment here as he's caught he adds more steering effect and the steering effect actually redirects his momentum and, and path of travel because of how early he's caught it and then used the redirection of, of turning his legs, pivoting. Now if we contrast that to the guy in the orange pants, this whole section right here where the examiner's already catching the ground and being able to redirect his mass, um, the orange pants guy has not caught it and so his feet keep almost sliding away, away, away until here where he's caught it. So much, much later, already there's been some redirection by the examiner. This guy, there hasn't. All The only redirection that's happening is actually his momentum traveling down the hill at this point and being caught with the skis this way. So you get this more of a slowing down effect because it's just pushing back up against the hill, whereas on the uh, left, there is a catching of momentum this way as well as down that is redirected. And so there's an acceleration, like the, the, the speed is taken across the hill and sort of helped him keep flowing down the hill, whereas speed with this guy in the orange has more been slowed back down and then sent across the hill. So the result is, zoom out a little bit here, far bigger impulse or redirection of momentum across the hill. Right here. As opposed to a little one with this guy. And then again, we have a look, same thing happens on this side. <clears throat> the examiner, you can see there's not a lot of redirection of the skis just yet until you can already start to see some snow boom, get hit with the ski tips, there, 
Let's look at our orange pants guy. There's nothing really that he can work with because he's still sort of, I guess, light on his feet, you could say, until this moment. You see he sort of crunches down there. So much later, much later, you can see the examiner's actually basically finished and off at the point that this guy actually is starting to get some reaction from the snow. So in a nutshell, let's let them uh, go, these two people. And um, you can see far more dynamic impulse type turns from the examiner, more just slowing down type redirection turns from the orange pants person. Uh, and in a nutshell, I'm saying that if you want to work on this in your skiing, you want to be looking for not only leg turning, pivoting. So get get past that. If you, it, it's all well and good, but you need something to push on you for that movement to actually have a good or have an effect on what's happening on the snow. So examiner's doing it far earlier so his pivoting actually has an effect to redirect his mass whereas the guy in the orange pants has the look of the pivoting but there's nothing actually pressing on him or really uh, happening with his mass it's not changing until far later so it's only a redirection of basically mass this way being stopped by his skis going across the hill and then therefore he gets a pushback in this direction which is just a slowing down. There's a bit of across the hill as well, but nowhere near as much as the examiner.